Ladies and gentlemen, this is Keith from Iron Repair Autos. Today I'm gonna to show you how to change out your secondary air pump. You've been getting error codes on this and uh, you've checked the fuse, you've checked the relay. Got a video up here showing you how to do that and you've ruled it out. You've also checked the pump itself, it's bad. So this video is gonna show you how to replace it. So let's get to it. Hey, but before we get started, I know you've been meaning to subscribe. So do that now, thanks. With your hood open, let's get started by taking off the front engine cover. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this hose that comes from the secondary air pump like that. And we're gonna take it off the secondary air pump. And when we're disconnecting the secondary air pump, which is right here, this is your oil cap right there. So you get a little bit of an idea where that's gonna be. Your oil filler is right there. This is your secondary air pump has a hose right here that goes to this diaphragm we're gonna disconnect that as well take that off all right so your inputs and your outputs are there there's one more right here we're gonna take this off after we got some bolts that we need to remove so we're gonna be using a Torx T30 to remove it and in doing so we're gonna remove the bolts that connect the secondary air pump so we're going to go down and we're going to look at the bolts down at the base of the secondary air pump there are three of them they're stacked vertically there are two up on the top as well that we're going to remove we're also going to disconnect the 12 volt power source to the secondary air pump right there that's accomplished by squeezing the two little prongs on each side of the connection and pulling it off. If you were going to be testing this, you could put your 12 volts right here, positive and negative side. As you're taking off your hoses, check to make sure that they're not cracked or have any holes in them. Those will cause vacuum leaks and uh, could trigger the check engine light as well. These seem good. So I'm going to start off using my Torx. T30 and I'm going to use this extender just so that I can get in there. Moving the camera in for a closer view for the next set of bolts that we're going to remove on the left side of the secondary pump. You'll see some bolts nestled inside there. I'm gonna go after the one at the base first and then come up. I'm gonna grab that bottom one. So I'm gonna use a long needle nose pliers just so that I don't lose this bolt as I grab it. Got it out. Pay special attention to the bolt on the left. It's longer than the two bolts that we've already removed. So keep that in mind. It has to be longer because it has to go through the bracket and then into the uh, aluminum of the engine. All right, so we got two more bolts to remove, and those two bolts connect this bracket right here. So we're going to just remove these two bolts, this one right here, and this one right there. Zooming back out so you know where I'm at. Get the bottom one first. Taking it back out from the bottom. So now what's left is this one. Using your long nose needle pliers, pull it out. The only other thing to remove at this point is the hose right here. just like that it comes out 
slide from behind here, leaving everything intact. So using your Torx 30, we're going to loosen these up. Remember to take note of your orientation. This guy is pointed off like that. Connection electrical is there. So the best way to remember is this port points that way and this also points that way. Easy to remember. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna connect back our... So putting back together is relatively simple. Put all your bolts in place. So when you're putting it back in a position, this is the cutout that I was telling you about right there, this little cutout. Make sure your hoses are not behind it, not in between any of these screw points, but in right in between so that, that such that they don't get sandwiched and crimped. All right, so it's about that time to reinstall this guy. And in doing so, we're gonna spend a little bit of time making sure that our hoses get right in between that notch. That's the biggest part, uh, concern point. And that by doing so, you're not interrupting um, the hose that's plugged into the air intake manifold. So I'm going to start by just making sure that those hoses end up right where they belong by helping them into position. So that's the first one. So they're pretty much in between the groove where they need to be. I wanna make sure that they stay there. Basically, you're gonna line up all the holes. Everything is pretty much lined up how we need it to be. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna start by connecting the base just like we did before but before we do that I'm gonna connect this hose so that we know we're good and set with that all right so let's get this hose on there and it goes all the way up to this notch point let me zoom in so you can see it okay so that hose is on I'm going to Connect this bolt just to get that lined up a little. What we need to focus on are the bolts down below and the bottom most bolt is the longest bolt of them all. These are my Torx. I'm just turning it by hand, just so that it'll catch. Okay, I'm gonna put another short one over here to keep things lined up. Not tighten it down, just put it on there. things lined up a little we got two other holes right there see all everything's loose right now so we're just gonna connect them up just to keep everything lined up nicely don't commit anything until everything's in now we're gonna take our hoses and we're gonna reconnect them
and before we connect this one back I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna connect our power and that will slip right on and go click there you go that's our power now see this arrow this arrow will line up with that arrow on the uh, mass airflow sensor filter box so we're going to just connect this on then we're going to connect it up to the arrow right here on the box like that and that's a wrap for the secondary air pump as far as the installation goes the next thing and the final thing that we need to do is to put back on the front engine cover plastic piece we'll do that now and that's a wrap as always everyone don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful what that does it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other mercedes owners drivers do-it-yourselfers can find them easier thanks and peace out